Sorry. Okay. No, no. Okay. Hi. Welcome to this definitely good to go cast that we definitely have started off with a bang. Uh, I'm uh, Guggy. I'm joined by Slappy. Um, uh, and we're casting two matches today. Uh, the first one is, of course, uh, Filing versus Verdress. There you go. Yeah, exactly. No, and you, your your intros are always legendary. This is why me and Lemila <laughs> wanted you to go. Uh, fabulous to see everybody. Uh, yeah, looking really forward to uh, to both the matches we have today. Um, and yeah, first up we have Verdris and Filing. Uh, to uh, and I think I'm pronouncing that Filing. Um, I think uh, so. Yeah, so correct us if we're wrong about that, because this is the first time we've seen this player, I believe, cast. I want to say it all, definitely in this tournament, um, but it is definitely not the first time we have seen Verdris. Um, been around for a while now. I actually uh, want to say like like two or three years. It feels like they've been around maybe even longer, but uh, they've been a consistent force in... Um, in these kinds of divisions and spots and been a nice solid player. So this will be a very interesting test for filing. Uh, in in tradition, uh, we have like new players when they first play, it's kind of a rough adjustment because for anybody that has played competitive, spy party is already stressful, but that first step up into competitive spy party, Jesus Christ, it is awful in some ways. It's beautiful to watch, but it is so, so incredibly stressful. So. Um, we will see how Filing is able to handle the pressure um, against Verdris, who has been been in this position many, many times. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets more stressful as you go up. I can say that from many, many years of experience. Uh, but yeah, I, I think this is going to be an interesting match. I think Filing, uh, looking at the scores, probably isn't going to be winning at this point. But getting a few wins against somebody like Verdras is going to be absolutely great. And Verdras, I think, needs the win to get up because we're at nearing the end and they're against three big people in Banana Bread, Magic, Door, and Hornet who are absolutely neck and neck, uh, except for Banana Bread, who has nothing but wins in getting to the finals of this uh, league. Great. Yeah, and I want to say that that doesn't surprise you at all, because I believe you are a expressive banana bread lover. You think that they mm -hmm. are fantastic. And indeed, they actually, they truly are. But I want to say you are actually one of the biggest banana bread fans, and they have had a great season. So you're right. First place is pretty much locked up, or not, sorry, locked up, but uh, locked out for these players here, um, because Magic Doer and Banana Bread are going to be pretty high up there. Verdris does have a shot, so this is the kind of match that they would need to win um, uh, to be able to position themselves up for anything towards the finals. But uh, like you're saying, um, uh, uh, it's going to be tough. I believe Magic Doer's only loss is to Banana Bread, uh, in fact. So um, it's tending that way, but these are the kinds of spots where we can see anything happen. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, I also think, and I'm checking right now, but I think this is the one time I didn't put banana bread in first. Uh, because I was like, I've put banana bread in first way too much. Uh, no, I did put banana bread in first. Never mind. I just didn't <laughs> put them first. I did have them losing the finals, though. So, uh, sorry. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But, like, honestly, that, that match was super close. Uh, so, um, absolutely could be, could be in there. But um, well, what I'm also interested to see is, so for, for a newer player where they haven't really necessarily settled into a specific like habit of like bands and picks, like some players, like myself actually, I have a pretty set amount of like bands. The things I want to ban, it's, it's like one of just a couple maps. Um, I am very curious how the picks and bands look, and so I want to look at that. Um, and I believe, those are probably on screen by now. <laughs> Um, what am I looking at? Oh, right. So Verdris is banning a veranda. And I would say, like, this is to me a familiar ban. Um, just a lot of people not really necessarily wanting to do veranda because either it's just a trade or someone has something kind of special in veranda. And also just some people just don't like playing it. Don't want to deal with it. Get it out of here. Not even like strategic. Just don't want to play veranda. And filing bans aquarium, um, which is I absolutely a a band that is among the more popular and especially I could understand for uh, someone that just wants like I don't want to deal with the pocket strats on aquarium just get it out of here 
And then Virtus restricts nothing. Uh, that is common. Um, restricting nothing just means that you're not going to necessarily give someone a potential in on a, um, a, a, a single pick just by demonstrating, hey, I don't think I actually want to play this a lot. So um, not necessarily too crazy there. Banning nothing is the one that's a little bit more strange. And then finally, filing restricts balcony. Um, that's honestly that's actually kind of like that's an advanced move right there. That's you're you're welcome to the community. That's high level ban a restrict mm -hmm. on balcony. You don't want to play four balconies. Um, I will say uh, first off, I think aquarium is a great ban for like newer players because obviously like it's, it's the shark is hard. Uh, and so just making sure you're not dealing with that's great. But also, I believe in all seven matches uh, of this uh, competition, I have banned Aquarium and Restricted Balcony. So filing uh, immediately gets my vote to win because um, they're just so good at banning and restricting. Absolutely. And what's interesting, though, is so what we see out of Verdurus is um, a, a single, a double of Ballroom and a single of Gallery. Those, those fit together. They are often compared to one another. Of course, they are situated. They're flipped in situation of one is a little bit wide, one is a little bit long. Um, but uh, similar kinds of obstruction, um, although Gallery has some more like distance between the objectives. Um, but interesting double from Filing on Tayan, which I think a lot of people consider to be kind of an advanced map, pretty difficult. It's got just a lot of chaotic... Um, uh, like moments in it, uh, and then Terrace, uh, not as chaotic. I, I those are those are just two interesting picks to put side by side. I don't know what your your thoughts are on those. Um, well, for Ballroom, Tan, and Gallery, those are uh, three of the premier maps for a spy just getting away with something without even being seen remotely, just because there's so much going on for all of them. Terrace sort of flips it on its head where. The sniper can see basically everything, but you still have a lot of options to spy. So I think these are all very interesting uh, picks. Uh, Standard-ish, but still good. Yeah, I completely agree with your assessment, by the way, of the dividing those two, and that Terrace, Terrace is, a, is kind of, like, I would say almost notorious for being, like, a full information um, map or venue. And that's actually kind of interesting, because full information venues means... Both the spy and the sniper generally both know what's going on, and they kind of agree on who's the high threat. That's not always the case, but like it has some of the, I would say, the the, the highest ability for people to create true 50-50 scenarios where both the spy is aware of the 50-50 and the sniper is aware of the 50-50. And so again, maybe slightly notorious in that sense, but also um, allows for people to make some deductions based on behavior. So very fun. And I think Very with that, um, I think we can start getting into it. I'm excited. Oh, me too. I love watching new players. Like for dress, who's <laughs> definitely new. Um, there you go. Uh, we have heal on ballroom, unless I'm on the wrong scene, and then I need to change. Nope, that is right. Great. Uh, if you want to count us soon. Absolutely. All right, let's get started in three, two, one, playing it. Obviously, go into RST first. Uh, most spies will just do that anyway. I don't think we're going to get a BB, because that's just a little weird at this point. But getting a nice 34% flirt is very nice. Yeah, absolutely. And like we have the option for a potential cheese on the on Ambassador, but not much else is going on to really threaten that. Um, actually, I, I guess there are people at Bookcase, um, which is there's quite a few all at once going on. And in fact, by the way, um, Filing has highlighted the two characters at Bookcase. I'm going to assume for flirt, but that could actually be if you highlight everybody that this is this is a strat that hasn't been pulled out for a long time. You highlight everybody that goes to one bookcase and you see them at the other bookcase before they return the book, you can shoot them. Uh, that said, we didn't drop the highlight for them walking away without a book, so I'm going to just guess a, uh, a, a flirt pair. Yeah, these are interesting highlights. All, all three of them, as far as I'm aware, have been to bookcase, so that would be my guess. Um, I don't know if there was research done and they were like, Virgil visits bookcases a lot, but that seems like it's what it's highlighting for, which is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, I think Ponytail went to their bookcase and didn't get highlight, but like, I, I don't, but you're right, I can't explain the queen highlight. 
Um, but it does seem to be kind of like a titular. Well, I guess we'll see here if we get a highlight, because this is actually both a, a flirt and a book grab. Um, by the way, slight sequencing issue there where we should have um, uh, 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 sipped and then flirt rather than flirt and then sipped to try to make it so that we're not there so long. Because um, actually going into the bookcase with a drink is excellent. Um, but then if you just, if you do the flirt first, you're actually just sitting there with a, with a drink in your hand there. But we are no worse for wear here. By the way, Queen actually going from bookcase to bookcase and joining us. Um, we will see if Queen gets an undue amount of suspicion here. If we're really, if we're really leaning into microfilm as a potential thing for Virgis to go to. I will point out also, because we definitely missed it, uh, the drink that we had while we were at Bookcase had a print on it, so we have a print and we never mentioned it. Whoops. Um, we also never got a highlight for being at Green Books, which is interesting, but we do get uh, an inspect off, so. Yeah, we pick up exactly one inspect, and here is the completion of that fingerprint you were mentioning before. So we have fingerprint done, and it doesn't seem, it seems like we've spent so much attention. Are we actually going to try to bug from behind here? We might know. We actually flipped the other way. I think at this point, if we've gone ahead and done inspects, we're going to just go ahead and do inspect, seduce, um, fingerprint contact. I'm just going to guess in here. And this is actually a really good test of a newer sniper is, oh, wait, no, I completely lied. We're going to go green pornelli instead. Are we going to do a silent game inspect finish? I think this is a, uh, first off, I think prints are probably one of the best uh, missions to go against new players because it takes a lot of skill to track them. So I think we're probably not even suspected for that, but we're getting a pearling now and we're getting a banana bread at the same time. So it might not even be seen. So I think this is a great strategy here and I think we're just going to get away with the win. Yeah, absolutely. And indeed, uh, it works out exactly that way. Uh, the, the banana bread well-timed to be uh, completing right as the um, purloin goes off, less than a second separating them, I think. Um, we actually start the white, we start the banana bread right before, so if we actually hit the green, it would have happened just as it was happening. Um, but well done there by Verdris, leaning into um, kind of the kind of style that you might want to use where uh, against a newer player, um, where you're just throwing a lot of things to track out there. You're not doing anything too definitive. Um, the only thing that was in there that could have been definitive was trying to track the purloin really closely. But then again, it's a green purloin. It's tricky to track. Also, I should just say, even new player or not, solid game. That would actually be kind of tough to shoot. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would have probably just not even paid attention to Prince and I would have lost. So, yeah, really good game. All right, all right. Well, we'll be stepping into the next game where we will have Orange Dress, or Sari, on Ballroom for filing. And I will start us off in three, two, one, playing it. And obviously, Orange Sari uh, has a host of... I, this is one of the things I always wonder with um, players who haven't, like, just spent a ton of time in the community, is how they rank characters, right? Because I think that a lot of people have kind of, like, a standard a set of ideas around, oh, we're going to get a... Oh, my God. That is, a, that oh. is like, a... I don't even know. Grand Grand Masters level bug. It is perfect. What awareness, by the way, to just do that right as it's coming up. Love that bug. So wonderful. Agreed. Perfectly timed. Like, just great. Uh, I, we're probably maybe credited for it, but I don't think we're suspected for it. We're doing a white test microfilm next to the ambassador, but I don't think it's seen. So, yeah. Another really cool play, though, because, like, when you're... Um... When you're at a bookcase with Ambassador, if you have a book in your hand, you're actually kind of not looked at, right? Because they're like, okay, I'm going to have to watch Ambassador soon. I'm going to have to watch Ambassador when they leave from um, bookcase uh, because I just want them, you know, like, they'll be on a path and they could get bugged or whatever. Or when the character next to them puts their book back and has the bugging arm available. Um, and then, of course, if the Ambassador puts the book back, you have to start watching for fingerprint. But you have a moment in there where they that's like, okay, steady state, ambassadors next to a person. I don't care about them or that person. Let me take this opportunity to get situated in the rest of the map before I have to worry about that bookcase. So actually really well timed. Um, of course, sometimes you just caught, caught for, um, for microfilm anyways, but really like the start of this game. This is, honestly, if you showed me this game to, like, and just said, oh, this was a Rav game, I would have believed you 100%. Uh, this is just really solid. Maybe we need to get some flirt done soon, but RST is just going around, so I don't mind the little bit of a wait here. Yeah, that is gonna be one. Okay, so we let's see. Let's look at this banana bread thing because we do go into conversation. It's pretty good actually, especially if Smallman finishes up um, and banana comes bread. into here. Okay, we are gonna knock out two, but that's a that's that's a pretty good banana bread. 
and uh, our ST and Boots are in the other conversation with Real. Uh, let's see how Virdus reacts. Virdus not trying to take any explicit information on whether or not they believe it's real or not. So um, I'm going to call that a pretty good banana bread and a win for filing so far and a green test on the flirt. Oh my god, we have such a cool sequence here if we want to go finish this off. Uh, and of course, it's going to come down to if we do want to finish the microfilm, we have to go to the action test. But I really like our position. We just can't run out of time, though. We are spending a little bit too much time here. Yeah, we only have less than a minute left, and we need to do at least one more flirt and another visitable case, which we don't want to do something like that in the last, like, 30 seconds, because that's only going to get looked at. Uh, we're clearly eyeing up it right now, trying to go for it. Um, and we do... And we're doesn't seem like we're getting stared at, so it seems fine. Um, well, maybe we're, we're getting, getting stared at. <laughs> yeah, it, it's we're getting, okay. Now we're off screen. We are screen, okay. We're perfectly off screen right now. That is completely invisible. Perla. I'm still really, really, really nervous about this ST. Uh, uh, this is actually going to be super close. I I would hate for us to lose this game because we actually don't have the last second bug as an option, and seduction target's going to leave. Uh, leave windows. If we, this is actually a mistake trying to go for for this. Uh, there's no way seduction target's going to stay here long enough. Yeah, and we have to add time. We have to add time. A great, great time add, but like it's going to be horrible because we're going to be the only ones at windows. We're going to see the reaction here. Are we just going to get straight up shot? That is tragic. I hate that. Uh, I'm so sad for filing. That was such a great game. Seduction target was in a terrible spot for us at the end there. Um, I think the only thing, the only thing I would say is. If we were gonna if we we're gonna burn time with ST, um, we honestly waited so long in that conversation with the seduction target. I actually almost wish we actually just went the full forty five seconds and then went to microfilm last minute. Um, uh, but other than that, that was actually a fabulous ninety percent of that game was absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Uh, also, back at the beginning when you said uh, spy choices, we did have one of the slowest characters, which I think is definitely needed to be taken into account a little bit. But otherwise, again, very good game otherwise. So, And I will say, the fact that they they had a lot of awareness, like, I would say a lot of a lot of newer players get flustered, don't actually go for the time ad um, at all. Like, they just, they they go to try to chase ST more or something like that. But um, really like that. And, like, legitimately, the both, both halves of the microfilm, I'm always nervous when players go for um, action test microfilms. Both of them were actually at wonderful times um and so one green one white got away completely clean and then of course just it was just seduction in the end that got us everything else beautiful beautiful bug really strong contact beautiful transfer and the only thing we don't get away with is seduce there all right and we will step right. into the second game of ball or sorry the second spy game of ballroom for Virdris. Virdris will be a bling twin starting in three two one, playing it. Maybe a crash bug. We're, we're dancing around the bug so much, but we end up not taking it, which is probably a good idea. No reason to really force it that much unless it's completely clean. I honestly think that would have been completely clean. Like, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think that would have been seen. Um, either way, we've got a 25% flirt, uh, and DA joins us, but I don't think we're going to take a contact at this point. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so hard to tell, um, because I actually, I don't think we are, we are getting seen. So it just happens to be, we, we, so we, we, we bug there, right? The bug is, the bug takes and the arm is definitely showing and we are low lighting ambassador at that same time, but it's possible that as we're low lighting the ambassador, we are fixated on just the idea of ambassador and not looking at any arms. We're just cleaning up our initial, um, our initial lights, right? We're just doing our, our, our warm-up habits. We do seem to be looking kind of near Bling Twin a lot, but um, I think we're okay. I would be really nervous in a lot of situations for this, but it doesn't feel like a lot of uh, heat is getting thrown our way. Yeah, that's one of those bugs, like, you're gonna see if you see it, and then you're gonna just shoot, or at the very least highlight, which we are mm. highlight, but I think this is for real BB, which is very fun. Um... But I don't think it's seen. I think that was well timed uh, off screen, and I think we are also finishing up this seduce now. Yeah, and I, yeah, and I, I would assume that if we're highlight for the real BB, if we go and like say like just do center centers and specs um, at a relatively good pace, 
I don't think that's gonna be enough. We requested drink. Are we just gonna purloin here and just take a stab at this just right now? We are, we are gonna take a stab at this. We get a huge zoom in on the tray though. So this actually could be a huge moment. I really, I really wanna see if we can take this shot. So Smallman takes the drink. The list is gone. We're gonna see an empty tray. Do we actually have this shot? I don't think we do. I think we're gonna take low lights instead. A really good response if we, uh, uh, if we were sure there was no bug. But unfortunately, Virgis got that early mission off on us, and uh, I think this. Let's say, let's say we change this situation where we didn't have bug yet. Um, I think Filing's in a really good position to find this shot, but really aggressive choice by Virgis, and just gets it under on the threat scan. Yeah, I didn't know. We obviously didn't know how many low lights they were getting, but I think they were probably going to be getting uh, a whole bunch from what it looked like. So I think it would have been an absolutely good position, but. Obviously, having a bug is a better position. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so just really, really very close. Like, lots of times I'll actually be saying this. I'll just call to come myself out here. I would honestly be encouraging to new players kind of regardless. I'm actually legitimately impressed. I think, like, we are margins away from a very seasoned player. And they're just like, we if we just don't miss that bug, or even if just that bug isn't in that situation, I think that's the right play. And that it's it's actually more rare to see a newer sniper be um, like trying to hold off on what could be an overly aggressive shot, trying to keep themselves within the mission count. And yeah, so I think I'll probably even just graduate away from just keep remarking on this player being a newer player because honestly, they're showing a lot of experience already. So now I think it's just honestly just like two Emerald level players playing against each other. Yeah, uh, I tend to agree. I think that just, yeah. Right. I All right. Well, that yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. we yeah. do really. So um, so even with the kind of narrow margins that we have here, filing does need to win this game as uh, a Disney or pencil stash. That's another thing I actually do want to know for your players is have they adopted like the certain names that we have? Or do they have like crazy names for them completely outside of it? Um, every once in a while will come from like random streamers and stuff. But anyways, let's get into it. We have Pencil Stash on Ballroom, starting in three, two, one, planet. You say adopted crazy names, like Pencil Stash isn't a crazy name. Yeah, well, that's what I, yeah, you're right. Cause like there's, there's a uh, Pencil Stash, there's Disney. Disney, I, I don't know. Like I've, I, I do actually say Disney because it's really, I, my strongest preference on names is that they are different sounding from all the other names. Cause they use a lot of like, um, uh, phonetic uh, type mnemonics. And so I care primarily that like names don't sound like one another. Oh, we have a red test on the seduction. Honestly, that, that's just not bad because it was not going to be a great seduction cross conversation circle. Um, but of course, I don't think that's what we intended by jamming ourselves in here and trying to get some kind of start. By the way, good, uh, good response though. Immediately going for the seduction since it burned us last time. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, getting making sure they get the flirt is absolutely and we're rewarded for this red flirt, of course. So it was actually really smart. Uh, so yeah, just making sure to get the flirt, obviously, the learning, um, which is great as we get 50% and immediately leave the statues. Uh, this is great pacing. No, it's I, I am so touched by the fact that we do this red flirt and then they come back to us and we were a way better position than if we had gotten that cross, cross conversation flirt. It's so funny to me. Um, so we'll see if we get the second green to finish up the flirt early. I am going to expect that we might just jump right back in here. Well, actually, we're not, we're not, uh, I was saying I was expecting that, but then we turned the camera away, and then indeed we are, um, going over here, uh, where we might fake. The, the, the DA that left here was an SDA, so we weren't even going for a real contact at some point. And here, we're being offered a drink. Let's see if we ignore. Nope, we are just going to take a completely innocent drink. And then um, we'll see how we position ourselves. STs in a conversation, like we could bug into a conversation with a real uh, DA and ST ambassador leave. So that's no longer an option, but this conversation actually is useless and we're spending a little bit too much time here. And ST leaves right as we start going up to them. Yeah. Uh, pacing starting to get uh, an issue yes, yet again which is, you know, common with newer players, obviously. But we're at least putting the pedal somewhat to the metal and going in for what I presume is a BB, which is not amazing, but we need some progress, so I don't hate it. 
Yeah, this one is much uh, much less favorable than the one we had in the first game, although it's getting slightly better as time goes on. Okay, so we have the BB. There's going to be a decent amount of lowlights that are coming off here, and we're prioritizing that. I actually kind of wish we had a bail on this one. We are going to purloin during it, though. Uh, it's a little bit later than I want to be. We walk through Conversation Circle. This could be caught pretty soon here. We're going to have the flirt done. We're not going to hit the green, so we still have to do a flirt and one more thing. Are we just going to go inspect? We still have this drink. I think we only took one sip on it. So we need to find two missions here pretty quickly. Of course, one of these seduction. We can't wait here. We can't wait here. We really need to go do the other mission that we need to do before the time goes out. Uh, and we're just going to be burning this. I mean, we will have time left up after the seduction timer times out, but it's not going to be very much. And I don't know if it's even enough to do an inspect. Yeah, at this point, we're just going to need to bug and then go back and finish the flirt. I think that's really the only way we're finishing here. And it, we're just not doing it, which is uh, not going to be good because we have uh, eight seconds left and it seems we're committing to a timeout. Yeah, this is going to be a hard timeout. So the seduction timer, actually, no, I guess I was wrong. I thought the seduction target, seduction timer, when did we try that flirt? I thought we would have time to do that seduce and one thing, but let me look back at the clock. So we get the flirt. Oh, we don't. It's at 44 seconds, 44.6 uh, per sec seconds. So um, I thought we did that at like 48 seconds so that we'd have like theoretically four seconds to go find something else. Um, that might... That might be just a little bit of unfamiliarity with the uh, exactness of the timer. When you are exactly next to the seduction target, that is a hard fixed timer of 45 seconds. There's no getting around it. If you have only 45 seconds left, you must go do something in between. You can either leave and come back. You can hope the seduction target goes away, all sorts of things. But it was unfortunately a hard commit to a timeout, but I don't think we were expecting to try to, try to do a hard commit to a timeout. Um, that said, there was a contact and a purloin, so it could have been a sieve shot at some point. Verdra should have been a little nervous about a finish going on there, but didn't seem like they were too tempted by anyone in particular. Yeah, there were two people who went center statues in the last, after the purloin, with a contact and a purloin. So it was a nice hold from Verdra. Um, so I, it's not the worst move to time it at that specific instance, when you have, like, a contact and a purloin. But... Yeah, unfortunately, it just didn't pay off. All right, all right. Well, um, we do come away with Ballroom 4-0. It was a lot closer than it looked, but just points-wise, we actually just need to start returning from this. Um, I am actually glad, though, that so far that this is getting cast because if you just looked at this scoreline so far, you would think that it's just a oh, typical story. Uh, seasoned player is just stomping a new player. It's not quite that simple. There are, again, those margins that need to get improved. Um, and we do need to see um, uh, just a little, again, that margin on the sniper to come through. So we'll see how this comes through on Tayan. Very difficult map to snipe on. Um, and we have Verdris as Orange Dress starting in 3, 2, 1, playing it. I will point out a very, very tragic thing has occurred where the SDA is Smallman, uh, which is great for filing, but unfortunately not good for Verdress. Yes, uh, it is true. And I actually, I wonder if like, uh, so there's the, there's the typical metagame of like, if Smallman is DA, they are probably SDA. And not only are they probably SDA, they aren't going to, oh, we have a wrong arm bug on the way out. Uh, that is completely invisible. That is a great bug. Oh, but we do get a highlight, maybe just for the path alone. I will point out, it was a great bug that didn't hit in the slightest, but yeah, otherwise a great bug. You're right. I didn't even, I just completely took that bug for granted. I can't believe that it didn't take. Yeah. But we're going to take a fingerprint as consolation prize, uh, which is not bad, but we're just going to head right back in and we're, we're okay. We're not going to head back in. We're going to head to the back. <laughs> and presumably time ad maybe i don't know we're gonna head in back we're gonna probably take another step this bug oh no we do not because ambassador leaves right as we're coming in here um uh, and instead we are gonna flirt by the way these um these bugs uh even though they look relatively uh straightforward um they are they're well done behind the screen because if you are worried about the the arm coming through late on the ambassador and sticking through and you can see them as it comes through Taft on the other yeah. side, you would not be able to see that on the Soji because they, there'd be the obstruction from the front. Uh, we have a contact, uh, pretty good. Uh, like you said, um, 
we'll see if there's any information kind of gleaned from the fact that Smallman is the D in the other conversation. We uh, we fish for another bug. We don't get it. So we, now we've tried to bug twice. We've lined up for bug another time. Still have not gotten it, but almost certainly Verders is trying to commit to that bug. Yeah, I mean, we are sorry on Tayen. This is like the premier you can bug good job uh, time. But unfortunately, we just haven't hit any. But at least they haven't been seen, which is the important part. So we'll just take a, another white flirt for 68%. Uh, and we have a minute and 15 to decide what our complete is going to be. And I will say, even though, like, no, normally if we if you have three bug attempts, almost automatically, I'm really worried about you for pace, right? Because you've probably committed a lot of time to those bug attempts. I will say, at least in all the bug attempts that we've had, all the lineups that we've had, it's <laughs> we're gonna take another one. Uh, that one, uh, that one was just optimistic, right? And uh, we are gonna do a standing bug. That one will definitely take as long as they're in there. Takes a hundred percent chance and is able to get it. And it's a great bug because sorry, standing bug in conversations fabulous, but it's especially good if you're covered by two characters in front of you. And Dante. <laughs> and Dante, yes. Yeah. Uh, Verdress looks to go for uh, another flirt, but Kane just isn't having it. And we're down to 30 seconds left where we presumably need a print and a flirt or some other missions. So we're getting down to the wire here. I think we're going to go to get a flirt, but I don't think it's going to... No, it's not going to happen. Well, they come into the they come into the conversation with us. We get a chance. Oh, we do not hit the, 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 the test that we needed. And it's going to be at 96%. So instead, we are going to have to add time here in the back. Okay, so here is a test. And the test has passed. Like, I was curious if um, how many times filing has been in the situation with a hanging clock because that is extremely stressful and it's something that you just need to get your bearings with but we actually don't even get to see what happens because there's too strong of a read on a character going to the back at zero seconds and checking their watch well done by filing yeah nice check. especially on Tayen, where uh there's a lot for you look at the last second Tayen, the last like 10 seconds of Tayen are honestly terrifying because like there are desperate spies that are probably three missions in because they've probably been able to get up to three missions and that they could anything literally anything could happen the first banana break could have been a fake because it's one of the most constant fake maps uh somebody could be swapping a statue because they're desperate so a, a green swap could be happening because someone got desperate 13 seconds before the end and went for a green swap uh purloin is there bug is there uh someone could do a desperation microfilm all of it is available at the same time but we are looking at the exact right spot, which is somebody going for that last second time. I'd well done. Yep. Yeah, very nice shot. All right, and now um, Filing's gonna get a chance to try to make it a little bit closer by stepping in as Red Dress on Tayen, starting in three, two, one, playing it. I think the main thing with Red Dress on Tayen is just blends in with the with the rug and the wood just the 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 dress and just overall the palette um just kind of a character that blends in a lot we are going to start with a green time but love this move love this beginning it's a it is again when we talked about how terrifying we go for a bug back there luckily um that bug was probably not going to take unless we redirect it into them but there is going to be i think absolutely no harm no foul there because of how obscured the um hole back there was uh, we are going to have a chance for another bug here now, and we're going to take it. There is a little bit of a lean on screen, though. Yeah, I mean, Hare does lean a lot for their standing bug, but it is a really fast one. So if you're not looking there the entire time, you're not going to miss. You're not going to see it. And I don't think that it was seen since we don't have even a movement that would indicate it. So I think we're in the clear for this bug. Yeah, and actually, uh, another part of Hare that blends in well is if Hare is, if Hare is uh, framed by the um the 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 sky in the background her hair looks the same sometimes her bugs on other map we're going to do another tr transfer and i think i'm on split screen so i actually can't see all the way off to the left i think we're looking pretty good um on that but uh, uh when i'm when you're on split screen you actually lose like little fractions of it and that's exactly where um they would have been it was on camera uh but it, again there was no movement that indicates it was seen so it looks like we got away with that uh, pretty cleanly. Uh, now we just need to get this flirt, and we're not getting into this convo, and we need to desert it. Um, so we just go into the other one. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so back before there was that uh, microfilm. So hair's hair is the same color as the background of this map, which is unusual. Because um, normally it's the hair that you really see move. It's a big, big old bushel of hair leaning to the side really quickly going for that bug. We're going to have a contact coming up here. Um, let's see who's knocked out. We have General uh, Teal is splitting and going to statues. So they might be a top suspect because it'll look like a split into a finish here. Uh, we did. We still have that time ad from here a long time ago. Um, meaning that we normally would be at a minute 15 left, but there's still plenty of time and then uh, playing it slow is actually be working out pretty well. We do still need to go get that microfilm at some other point, which might be an opportunity here now that Seduction Target and Teal are both in the microfilm. We are actually just going to take the shot on, um, I can't tell which twin, that, that is Plain Twin. And uh, just off of the contact and the time at alone, just too nerve wracking for Virtus to hold their shot. Yeah. Uh seems twin it inspects and also it's tan so probably had bug credit uh yeah i i wouldn't know i'm not for just but yeah it uh, looks like and they'd also been moved around conversations a lot so um again kind of sensible shot they had actually been to center inspect before um but they only spent once uh, or i guess they they spent two cycles there but sometimes you know spies miss out on that cycle and then the, going back there might look like they were trying to finish up that um that there at the the middle point and just kind of force the issue so again understandable shot and um so far uh filing has been finding their footing on on tan uh we'll see if they're able to continue that but like, honestly, out of the two maps, I would have expected it to be a little bit harder to adjust to a map like Tan. But honestly, they're playing quite well on it so far, so excited to see if they're able to continue that, where Verdris is going to be picking up the Spy as Papa Danger. And uh, three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, Spy on Tan, uh, I wasn't too worried about, but Sniper on Tan is very much a big, big test of skill. Uh, and it, it seems that, I mean, she's got two wins on it, so she's clearly got at least one sniper win on it, so she's clearly not doing too poorly. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, like you're saying, there's lots of options for the spy. Like, they don't have to go super far, because um, some of the experience on certain venues comes from knowing how much of a time commitment any particular mission is. So, like, um, uh, realizing that... Uh, there's a there's a significant time sink on Terrace to try to get... Oh, we're going to get a pretty good uh, fish for a bug behind the back. Um, we're not going to get it, but it's it's the... Uh, it's it's Papa. They, honestly, both sides of his bugs are pretty good if they are um, if they are perpendicular to the... Um, or actually parallel with the sniper. Um, so again, uh, uh, lots of... Uh, like, neither character has actually been caught for a bug so far, I believe, on, on Tan because of how, how fruitful bug is on this venue. Yeah, I don't know how many missed bugs there have been, but it's definitely about as many as you would find in a regular set. But that's Tan, so, you know. Uh, we're going to get center inspects here and get a 30... Well, we're only going to get one inspect center inspects here. We're going to get 34% of the flirt uh, and just hang out in the front of the combo. And you know what's funny is this is kind of what I think Verdra shot for in the beginning is... Uh, realizing that sometimes if you get a white test on the first inspect, sometimes spies just bail on getting, you know, trying to get all the inspects. We're going to go for another bug. Oh, that that arm is visible. I don't know if we were happen to be looking at it, but there was a there was a nice little canyon of guests right up the middle that we actually could see that arm. That's one of the few bugs that you can see on Tayan. It we might not just be looking for it because some snipers opt to just be like. I am going to approach this venue as three out of seven. I'm just going to assume bug has happened and I'm going to look for something else. But uh, unfortunately, I think we are uh, missing out on an opportunity there to get some positive proof on um, on Papa Danger there. So uh, at least that's my assumption. I don't know. What do you think if we saw that bug or not? Um, I honestly wasn't looking at the sniper cam, so I couldn't have seen too much. But it did look like a bug that could have definitely been seen. But there was no sort of indication uh, from the sniper that it was seen, but we also are a highlight, so I don't know. Uh, we are gonna get a banana bread, which is real for us, but it does knock out uh, two people, but it seems a third with Smallman, so. And what are we- drink. Yeah, what is this? 
we I guess we don't want to finish in specs. Like so to me this is an interesting decision. We we are just doing the straight. Yeah, we're just doing it. We're this is just a this is just a straight up test seeing if you're ever looking at microfilm. It's funny because uh, filing was so concerned with microfilm it looked like in the first and the, and the first set on ballroom, uh, but might have missed out on a chance uh, to get Papa Danger on this one because we do seem to be watching everything but Papa Danger on this, and I don't think we're gonna see a shot for this at all. Um, so. Uh, uh, kind of an interesting and strange and aggressive play there at the end. There were chances for filing to see it, and we just happened to be looking at the wrong thing each time, and Verdris is able to get away with a spy win, despite visiting center statues and having bugs that are... Um, uh, the bug attempts, except for the bug that took, pretty much invisible. I don't think that was a problem at all. But um, not seeing the bug and not seeing the direct aggressive transfer at the end is what gets us. Um. Uh, very unfortunate, but yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of things to watch for, so not seeing a bookcase for about five seconds is unfortunately what can do it for you sometimes. Yeah, and it is one of the things that, you know, I don't actually think about very often, and actually will, uh, as we load into the uh, the next game, you'll actually see the same thing, is um, uh, most of the time I pretty much fixate on, when I see, when I see the Soji, I'm like, okay, um, I care about front two uh, Soji being offset. Uh, I don't care about the back Soji as much, um, but I don't have a strong preference between which side the front two Soji are offset as. One of the advantages you do have with not having the Soji, the middle Soji being on the bookcase side, is you can do directs like that. Because if you try to do the other kind of direct, you have to actually curl around the middle Soji all the way to get there. So that's actually just another thing, just like another opportunity that presents itself with them. Um, with microfilm there is just doing that little like quick little dump move if there's aggression on the other side that they have to be careful about so um interesting little maneuver there and i do like it yeah this is honestly my preferred shoji setup in case anyone was wondering but uh yeah it's a really good move uh as we move into the next one cool cool all right so uh we will be starting as that is ponytail on, I can't think of a pun for Guggy's favorite shoji matchup, like Guggy, So Gug, Show Show Jug, Show Gut. I don't know either. We'll figure something out. We have okay. Show Show G, Show Show Gu. All so, right. Anyways, uh, we'll start on uh, on this Show Jug in three, two, one. Playing it. This is probably as good as we're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> We, oh, oh, we're gonna have an immediate uh, uh, contact because I think we were going for a uh, for a bug. Right. It's actually not that bad uh, for an instant contact. I don't know about the bail because we're in the front conversation, so it's really obvious that we bailed after the contact. But this is actually really weird, right? It's a very oh, but we're gonna oh, that's that's too okay. bad. I actually so I think we got flustered there. I am gonna guess. I don't know this for sure. I am gonna guess that we are going for a bug and not for contact. Because um, we also ignore the um, the action test because, uh, uh, I, again, I don't think we expected to see an action test pop up. Um, but again, because it's a white uh, um, uh, contact, so green actually would have been worse because there would have been a lot more people out of conversation circle. For a, um, for a near instant, like t under 10 second banana bread, a lot of people are in a conversation with double agent so i'm a little bit uh, i'm a little bit sad for filing there that i think they felt like they need to go do something instantly and aggressive right after this because they made it made a mistake and they need to try to just do something throw something against the wall and see what they could get away with but actually if they played out this game i i don't know verdus has played very many games where there's been a 10 second contact on uh on uh Tayan, and that might just make them ultra super nervous so i think in this instance in the future if you are stuck in this but you're not completely screwed because like giving off three low lights which is not ideal uh, uh just wait push that on the sniper make them like sweat it out because it's a weird spot to be in i will also say i don't know how good the bug would be i think it would be like fine but i love the aggression of just going for it right away. And even though the execution didn't pay off, I think it's a really solid move. Yeah, no, uh, really, uh, that was an interesting game. I'm, I'm again, I'm sad that there happened to be that white, uh, the white microphone right after, uh, but uh, 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 it, 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 it was a weird one. So I'm excited about, uh, about how it turned out. Although uh, we are gonna be playing on, um, 
match point now for filing. Um, I believe it's first first to seven in Emerald. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we are being a match point from here on out for um, for filing. So uh, they need to start gathering up some steam pretty quickly. Again, that score, it's not telling of how close this actually is. I do think that Verdus has been a little bit more on the ball just because they've been around a little bit longer in these situations, but really so far a strong showing. And let's see how that transfers to, to Gallery, where, where uh, uh, again, we're reverting more to like a ballroom scenario. We have to be the instigator of action. Uh, so we will be more on the clock uh, as Spy. Um, and I guess with that said, let's get started with Verdus as Duke on Gallery in three, two, one, playing it. And of course, here for our host, instantly, um, uh, uh, we'll be thinking about things like Bug. Although, actually, no, not host. I'm thinking of Rav, but I guess Nebula probably likes Duke a little bit too. Um, Rav uh, uh, plays Duke a lot on Gallery uh, and uh, thinks about Bugs a lot on Gallery for this reason. And I'm curious if players haven't played against um, people that really take stabs at specific types of characters, if they'll be uh, looking for um, the kinds of characters that have those really hard to see reverse bugs at paintings yeah absolutely uh i think duke is a really good spy for not necessarily that kind of bug i don't i think that was slightly visible and it didn't hit but uh that sort of bug where you're bugging as the ambassador's walking through is a very very solid bug um but we just have 51 percent flirt um yeah uh, I also, uh, I was going to bring up a point and I can't remember what it was. It was probably there's Smallman in the back of the conversation circle, maybe it's, which is maybe actually, maybe not, but like he's in, he's in a near, uh, terrifying spot. Like he's not quite centered enough to be in the visible spot, but I would be nervous about where he's at. Uh, that wasn't it. The thing I was saying is, uh, because we were on match point, this doesn't feel like a match on match point. It, it feels much closer. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. We do hit um, the bug on the on the ambassador curling around. Uh, it was pretty good, even though, um, like you were saying, it's not leading into the specific strength of um, of uh, of Duke. Duke, one of the few characters that feels like they actually have a substantial difference to their hands up there with um, Papa Danger and Queen, where there's just there's a world of difference actually between how they how they hold their hands between their left and the right. It feels like almost like early dossier stuff. But of course, if you're just standing in that position, um, that bug is just good pretty much no matter what when the ambassador is curling around. We get a contact. Only a couple people getting taken out so far. I think General might be another option for us there. I can't remember if he was coming straight out of the conversation circle, but um, pretty solid contact in here. And we're going to be in sort of the danger zone um, for a potential shot the rest of this game because after Banana Bread comes off, people are pretty nervous on Gallery. Yeah, I'll also point out, I believe we were in the front with the SDA out, which means if Filing was paying attention, there's about five people with real contact. Uh, but it doesn't seem like that was noticed. Uh, so a little bit of a missed opportunity, but we are still in an okay position if uh, or just does something weird in the next minute and 10 seconds. It did look like there's a lot of zooms in our area. I can't quite tell if that was for us or for boots, um, but it looks like there's a lot of like really intentional close-ups. Um, if 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 I was watching a padding sniper, I would have been like, okay, that, that, that entrance might have been it because we kind of went deep for a seduction that we only needed 15% on. Um, so the, the entrance was a little bit unnecessarily kind of diving in there. Um, and we are going to leave in there. I don't know if that was an interrupt leave. I guess that was technically an interrupt leave from general. So I think it's actually etiquettely sound. Um, uh, and we're going to go into books and we are going to do another just straight up direct. Uh, Verdris is trying to punish um, uh, uh, the opportunities that are being given up for direct book transfers. And maybe this is actually the the first thing that uh, Phylon was trying to do in the first game, highlighting for books all the time. And both times Verdris is able to call out the um call out the sniper and uh just well done like that's a that's a smooth that's a smooth play i want to look at what was going on during that time um ambassador is walking down the side of the paintings like you have to watch um red dress at the start of that um and then ambassador is starting to enter right when we start actually walking away starting to enter the um, front conversation circle 
Uh, so there's a little bit of, of, of noise on the map as we do it. And we are not um, looking at Duke, who did not pick up a highlight at any point during that. So Verdris taking stabs with those direct microfilms and is able to just win the match off the back of them. Yeah, really, really solid, crazy spy plays uh, is always something I love to see. So, uh, yeah, very good match. Yeah, and, and uh, again, like, I'm looking at this 7-2, and uh, I'm glad that we actually got into it because, um, uh, again, like, I... This is this, and that's often true for seven twos. Just more often than not, seven twos are usually closer than they look, right? Or things like seven twos, seven ones, and even sweeps. Um, but in particular, um, this is a very promising first showing. Again, versus a player who's been um, in like I don't know, Virgis has to have been in like a dozen or more competitions by now, um, probably even more. Um, so excellently done, and hope to see them stick around. Yeah. And I think with that, uh, we are going to prepare for our next match. Um, uh, and it is, of course, like, I don't even, I don't even know what we're going to do to introduce it, but it's going to be Minioric Rav. And uh, uh, there's a whole lot of history there. But before we do that, we are going to have a five-minute break um, while we resituate ourselves and get ready. <laughs> 